was a new world that I entered and that world has brought me uh, from far away from a village of about 2,000 people to the most developed parts of the world. Finally, a dream fulfilled. I have been longing to see this land. Yes, here it is. I see if God was telling me, here it is. Since you have been dreaming about it, here it is. The first time I was landing was in New York airport. And we came through, there was, there was thunder and lightning there. I was scared. And then I got down, oh my gosh. Everything was big and fast. So that was my first experience in New York. And then I implained for Los Angeles. And it became the same. Big, very efficient. But I understood because I was coming after the 9-11, they were very thorough with me. They, they checked all my back. And I felt for some time it was because I was an African and I was odd. And so coming to Los Angeles was a faith journey, I must say, because I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know anybody. Now, what happened in, in St. Beats took me off guard because everybody was, was great, gentle, welcoming. And, and I said, okay, this is too good to be true. In spite of my accent, when I spoke personally with people, they understood, they accepted me into their families, just like that. Good morning, Father Greg. Good morning. Good morning to our friends from Ghana. Oh, okay, in their name I respond. Thank we you. have loved having him here with us. He's absolutely wonderful. I love seeing the pictures of the children of Ghana. Well, I must tell you, people in Ghana, we have some of the the best people in the world in this parish. The sun is shining, smiling down at us, just reflecting the spirit of the people. I have received warm welcome here, and they are just like my true brothers and sisters. Hello, my name is Lee Miles, and this is my daughter, Alexa. Hi, I'm Alexa Miles. And my daughter, Kira. Hi. We look forward to Father Greg's Masses every weekend, and we uh, really feel close to him, and through his Masses, we feel like we've started to uh, have a feeling for where he, where he came from and uh, the village he lives in and how, how important that is to him, and we always hear his Masses reflect his interest in, in where, he, where he came from, and we feel very close to the, the people of Ghana through him. And this is to his mother. You are a wonderful lady. And thank you for giving us, Father Greg. And I wish I could give you a hug right now. Thank you. you all right, you give her a hug from me, from Penny. From Penny. <laughs> this is a matter of reaching out in friendship across the world, from parishes here in the United States to a parish in Ghana, with people we don't know at all but are anxious to learn more about and become more sharing and more community with. I'm, I'm excited about this and looking forward to what we can do. Welcome to you from the St. Beat family. Uh, welcome to the United States. We come with wishes of love and greetings from America and thank you for sending us Father Greg because we love him. Um, Father Greg's great. We think he's so cute and he's just one of the most fun priests ever. <laughs> so. Hi, people from Ghana. Um, I wish you well, and um, hello from California. I just want to say thank you to the people of Wa for sending us Father Greg. We love him dearly. He's a prize, and we love to hear him sing, and I hope you'll let, us st let him stay a little longer. Um, hello, people of Ghana. My name is Christine Godinez, and my family and I are members of St. Bede's Parish, and we just wanted to tell you hello and let you know that you're in our thoughts and in our prayers, and we're wishing all the best for you, and we hope to meet you one day. Um, I have here with me um, my daughter, Sophia. Can you say hi? Hi. Can you tell them what grade you're in? First. Tell them you're in first grade. I'm in first grade. And my other daughter, Natalie. Can you say hi? Hi. 
Tell them about yourself. Mm. What I hope will come from our um, trip and from our relationship with you is that we may become gift to one another as we, uh, as we meet one another, as we share stories. And thank you for being a part of this with us. It is for me an experience of God through people that I did not have before. Although I've met people who have accepted me as a priest, here I did not have to work for it. I didn't have to justify the reception I received. It was just there waiting for me. We really appreciate that the, the fact that you share Father, Father Gray with us. It was a great blessing for us and many, many blessings for both of us. For both countries, we are not strangers anymore. We are brothers and sisters and God loves because we have only one Father and one God. And this is for true Father Greg came to this community to bring the message raw and clear. So we love uh, Father Greg, we love all you people, and especially greeting for his mother. I remember his mother tell him every day, call him and tell him, Greg, don't forget to pray the rosary. I can tell you, mother, he's been praying every day. <laughs> oh, it would be really great if I could see your village through photographs or internet or internet chatting. So it would be great if I could see that. Okay, greetings. Greetings to Ghana. Greetings to Ghana. These kids, their mother's from Cameroon. I was in Cameroon maybe, I don't know, 10 years ago. Ah, Africa, L'Afrique, it's beautiful. Um, Father Grace went back there, wish we were going back there. Have some good food, some good fufu. Oh, listen to some Ghana, listen to some high life. Okay, okay. And bring your greetings back here to us too, because we need greetings from you. Okay, bye-bye. I'm hoping that the people there know that I'm going to be coming after you the same way with the microphone because I want to be able to get your heartfelt wishes for the people back here at St. Bede's. They're eager to hear from you. So I'm coming, and I want to talk. To I'm you. coming, too. I won't be coming with the microphone, but I'll be coming after your hearts. <laughs> I want to get to know you and love you. I'm looking forward to it immensely. God bless you. Mm -hmm.